During the ten years of the war in Afghanistan, 620,000 Soviet citizens served in that country. The total number of fatalities from this group exceeded 15,000 individuals, with 54,000 people sustaining injuries of varying degrees of severity. The transportation of the deceased bodies back to their homeland was primarily conducted by a transport using so-called zinc coffins. The body of a fallen warrior was placed inside a box made of thin, galvanized steel sheets, which was hermetically sealed. Oxygen access was blocked to better preserve the body during transportation, preventing the spread of unpleasant odors and potential infections. The zinc, present in the metal, protected it from corrosion, for ease of handling and protection against damage. The zinc coffin was placed inside a wooden box with handles. According to the order of the USSR Minister of Defense dated October 8, 1984, now 200, which introduced guidelines for military transportation in the Ministry of Defense and calculations for them. A baggage ticket for 200 kilograms of cogga was issued for the transportation of the coffin with the deceased's body by military transport aircraft helicopter or civil aviation aircraft helicopter combination from the departure aerodrome to the destination aerodrome. Based on calculations, the weight of the zinc coffin and wooden box should not exceed 200 kilograms. Therefore, in military circles, it became customary to encrypt this cargo as cargo 200. Additionally, there were other cargo codes. For example, cargo 100 referred to various types of ammunition. Cargo 300 denoted a wounded person. Cargo 400 represented a prisoner. Cargo 500 indicated gold. Cargo 600 referred to oversized cargo and Cargo 700 signified money or other valuables. Cargo 800 indicated chemical, biological, or other special weapons. These codes were introduced at the time to prevent the enemy from understanding their true nature during negotiations. For instance, 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, and 2, 0, 4 signified 2 killed, 2 wounded, and two prisoners, respectively. The designation of wounded as Cogger 300 was explained by the combined weight of the injured person, stretchers, and two accompanying medics with medical equipment, such as stands for intravenous drips or blood transfusion systems. The total weight of these items should not exceed 300 kilograms. When organizing aviation transportation, Knowing the weight of the cargo is crucial to avoid overloading the aircraft or helicopter, as it could lead to a catastrophe. As for cargo 100, cargo 400, cargo 500, and so on, these designations are not related to their actual weight but were chosen solely for the purpose of encrypting the data. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and click the notification bell. More interesting and unusual facts await you. This was Dan Knight. Thank you for watching. 10